Good morning, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving. Um, it actually snowed just a touch, a dusting, last night. Um, and I'm on my way right now to pick up Travis. So we can go and take a look at the tombstones. So that's what I'm doing right now. I want to warm the truck up and then we'll be on our way. Oh, got my trusty tape measure so that I can take measurements. Did you get that? Measurements of the tombstones. It'd be a lot easier to do it on video anyway. That way it's so much easier than taking stills and then trying to remember what measurements went to what still. This will be like all on video. If I like it, boom, it's there. Measurements, rewatch it. Doesn't get much more to easier than that now, does it? Oh, that was nice. It's pretty gay. Hello, gay. Isn't there an old country song? Hello, wall. Uh, Johnny Cash. Yeah. Nice to see you. It's been a... Um, I'll let you hold it for a second. Just don't let that get around. <laughs> <laughs> You McLeod. Well, I was zooming in and not meaning to. That's the day before the 4th of July. Age 60 years. Oh, he's a native of Scotland. He's Scottish. So, I actually kind of like this one. It's got a nice base to it. We're sitting at about 17 and a half, 18. Center part 24. 29. 41. 48 years, a resident of Pierce County, Washington. So he was 12 when he moved here. So I wonder Ireland. if this has been redone because was this Pierce County back in 1891? Cell phone. That's a good question. Huh. I want to say Washington was still Oregon Territory then, but... And then the small, less interesting ones. Lieutenant H.G. Johnson. Uh, see... That's what kind of recognition you get when you fight and die for your country. Yeah. Those are small. 10 by 14. 32nd Ohio Infantry. Ohio? Cleveland rocks. Next. <laughs> I don't understand why they don't have more up by the street. They probably did. I'm sure this has had its fill of Bad vandalist people. little shit. Yeah. Bloody fuckers. Bloody wankers going lot. Kick their little crumpet ass eating. Bloody faces. <laughs> yeah, what he said. <laughs> Oh man, these wow. people like fed that tree. <laughs> <clears throat> totally. Hmm. Oh, fitting, fitting, name, frost. It's cold outside. Hey. Oh, oh, yeah. Tying it in. Frost. This one here has been repaired. Yeah, because you know some little bastard was out here kicking it over. Oh, classic. Gone but not forgotten. 69 years old, Harriet Cronin. Twenty-eight and a half. Sixteen and a half. No, that doesn't make any sense. Never mind. Forget it. Sorry. Oh, I like that one. We could carve that out of styrofoam. Is that the holding the book or whatever? Yeah, it looks like an angel with the wings. And there's stuff written here. I can't make it out though. Well, it's only 120 years old. Our first. I 
don't know. Elmer J. Hunt. Or M. Hunt. Our firstborn daughter? That doesn't look like you. Died in 1890. Darlin? Our firstborn Darlin? Yeah, nine years old. That sucks. God. You know, I'm always saying that medical science is so... Uh, Stone Age and behind the times and you know that they should have better technology but I guess considering how old people used to live yeah, to 60 years well, that's kind of like of a pig, doesn't it? <laughs> he's from Wales Dr. Yes. Owen well doctor I'd say by looking at the lifespans of your neighbors <laughs> you weren't very good at your job <laughs> 79 and it's tapered five three quarters across eight three quarters To him we trust a place is given and I can't read the rest. Something they say with Christ. I can't read it. We need paper and chalk. Or charcoal. I did the measurement of the whole thing, or did I just do the measurement of that? I thought you did the whole thing. Or no, maybe not. Yeah, 79. That almost looks like a, a fence post. Died in 1899. 189, born in 1891. See, that just sucks. You suck, Doc. <laughs> Harriet Keats. It's kind of a cool little tombstone. Died in 1895. Didn't even get to see the Titanic go down. <laughs> the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will... He will something... The meek with salvation. What is this word? Beautify? Yeah. You will beautify the meek, meek with salvation. salvation. I didn't think the meek could be beautiful. I thought that's why they were meek. What does it say? Best father something 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 while friends something sorrows over the weep. Creep. Weep. 1900. July 4th. He, born, he died on the 4th of July. Not much. That was a movie. Oh no, I was that born was on the 4th of July. Born on the 4th of July, yes. Yeah, radio station I was listening to and they, they have the impossible question, which is like a really easy question that they just randomly call people and see if they can answer. Uh-huh. That's one of the things. They were calling people and said, uh, Tom Hanks' character in the movie, born on the 4th of July. What day was he born on? And people were saying like, September? <laughs> and another question was, what are cornflakes made out of? People were saying like, apples, wheat, well, Apple Jacks aren't made out of apples, in stupid people's defense. And they're not Jacks either. No. Swallowing that, a Jack yeah, would suck. Might be kind of Ooh, bad. For swallowing that a Jack and a Magnet would suck. Mmm. Oh, the founder of the bicycle. Well, the Murray bicycle. Your bikes suck. <laughs> He must have been an important person because there's nothing written. Just nothing. Murray. It's not even 
It's marble. Sure is. Oh wait. Yeah. And there's nothing written. That doesn't make any sense. Another family that can afford this, but nothing else. Stupid. Stupid dead people. <laughs> Well, that would be the families, because once you're dead, you can't... Well, yeah, that... Oh, okay, so that's father, mother, that's the family father. marker, and then it's got the individual markers. Okay. Oh! I take that back. You're not stupid. You're just dead. <laughs> well, to hell, who's the stupid ones now? Oh, uh, right here! <laughs> this guy! <laughs> Born in 1795, so she had a nice good, well, what's that? Mom always said that people that were born a long time ago, died a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's like huge though. Ass. What? I'm not an asshole. I didn't call you an asshole, I just said you're an ass. Don't get me talking about Jenny and my ass. She called me acidine one time. I didn't know what to do, but Jenna was kind of funny like that. Oh, hello. Is that one of them newfangled video cameras? Yes. Bubba had a video camera. He always like videotaped his lips, like doing weird things. I always left the room when that happened. <laughs> this is too big. You know how big it would be to store that? Nilla Lindell? She was a I, hand. I thought this said effect and it's hyphenated. Oh, she was a kind and I want to say affectionate. Yeah, affectionate wow. wife. Mother. That's mother. I want to say a pack of full of a snow. Friend. Really? Oh my God! You are. An affectionate wife, a fond mother, and a friend to all. Yeah. Dude, that was bloody brilliant. <laughs> That'll be your lights, Harry Potter. We've been here a while. In the graveyard. On Thanksgiving, for settlers, because it just makes sense. Pioneers. Walk over and, and get a better close up of the sign. Yeah, we can do that. All these people are probably wondering, what the? Damn it, Bobby. I, I told you to stop dancing with Ladybird. What the hell? <laughs> man, no one doesn't tell you what, man. You know, people, damn graveyard, man. Thanksgiving, man. All the people driving by, you know, wonder what, what, what the hell they're doing, man. There you go. Oh, I thought it would say when it was, uh, when it was started or established or whatever. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy the graveyard. Um, I'm going to go and edit everything. Got about 45 minutes to an hour of footage almost. So <laughs> I've got my work cut out for me. And then I got to get to Thanksgiving dinner number one and then Thanksgiving dinner number two. And I told you that um, I'm going to try and get my parents to uh, tell the story of uh, uh, their uh, camping trip ghost several, several years ago. But got the pecan pies all ready to go. And so I'm just going to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and uh, hope you have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow.